Hello friends, welcome to the Take Better Photos channel. On February 28, Pixel Mater Pro 3.3, named Mosaic, was released. It's a big upgrade for raw editing, but is it big enough to make people consider ditching their Adobe Lightroom or Photoshop subscription? Stick around because I'm going to be answering that question. But before I answer that question, let's run through the improvements of Pixel Mater 3.3 Mosaic. The first improvement is improved shadows and highlights. Pixel Mater says all their major tone sliders, and that includes shadows, highlights, brightness, and exposure, have been improved. I'll be focusing on shadows and highlights because those are the ones which I think had the biggest deficiency to begin with. Just as a reminder, here is an example of the shadows and highlights adjustments from the old Pixel Mater. As you can see, both shadows and highlights adjustments affect not just the tone it's supposed to hit, but also many other adjacent tones, like the mid-tones. The adjustments also reduces contrast and produces washed out colors, a very unpleasant result. Well, in Pixel Mater 3.3, these problems have been fixed with what Pixel Mater says is a new perception-based approach, which makes the edited photos look especially natural and true to life. After extensive testing, I have to agree. While the shadows and highlights still hit too wide a range than what I would prefer, the colors and contrast are much more pleasing and natural looking than before. The results are similar to what you get with more expensive competition like Adobe Lightroom or Capture One. Now, I would not hesitate to use Pixel Mater's adjustments to process any photo. The great news of these new improved tonal adjustments is they also work with layers and masks. The ability of Pixel Mater Pro to make precise selections with its quick selection, color selection, and select and mask tools, coupled with its new and improved tonal adjustments, allow for maximum control in the quality of your edits. It's really powerful. At number two is texture and clarity adjustments. If Pixel Mater forums are anything to go by, the Pixel Mater Clarity Slider was one of the most requested features in Pixel Mater Pro. Well, it took a while, but the wish has finally been granted. The Clarity and Texture Slider is here, and I can tell you it is very good. The Clarity and Texture Slider works as it should enhancing local contrast and fine detail correctly with pleasing output and no visible artifacts. I have observed that its performance is similar to Lightroom while surpassing Capture One's Clarity Slider. In case you're wondering what the difference is between the Clarity and Texture adjustment, Atto from the Pixelmator team gave this explanation. The Texture adjustment enhances just the texture and not the edges while the clarity adjustment enhances both the texture and edges. Just keep this in mind when using these tools. Thanks to Otto for the explanation. The third improvement is selective clarity adjustments. Staying with clarity adjustments, Pixelmator Pro now allows you to enhance details exclusively in the shadows, midtones, and highlights of an image with the new selective clarity adjustment. This is exactly the same feature as Pixelmator Photo which I also made a video on. I said in that video that the selective clarity does work reliably, affecting the correct tones without the need to create a mask. Moving away from raw editing, Pixel Mater Pro now includes a remove color feature, which seems to be directed primarily for removing green screen in video. You can deduce that because the default color is set to green. Once the green is removed, it's quite easy to add a layer with your own background. Best of all, there's no need to open a clunky video editor just to do this simple task. The fifth improvement is sidecar files. You now have the option to open and edit images in the original format and save them back to the same file format while preserving all non-destructive edits and layers. As you can see here, when I open an ordinary JPEG file, Pixelmator also opens all the layer information and non-destructive edits. How is that possible? How can you open layer information with just a JPEG file? It's possible because I've set Pixelmator to save all that information in a sidecar file, which is typically stored in the pictures folder or in iCloud. 
The main benefits of this, because the file is still in JPEG, not a pixel meter project, the image will be searchable by a photo manager like Lightroom. The sixth improvement is stroke styles. Pixelmator improves stroke styles, which allows you to create beautiful outlines around images, video paths, and shapes using a variety of new stroke styles and more options for customizing strokes. So what's my conclusion? Obviously, Pixelmator 3.3 Mosaic is a big upgrade for raw editing. But is it good enough to cut your Adobe Lightroom or Photoshop subscription? Well, if all you need is a quality raw processor, I will say for a lot of people, yes it is. The tone adjustments remove the deficiencies of the old Pixelmator Pro and produce very similar image quality to Lightroom and Capture One. The clarity and texture slider is now top-notch, matching Lightroom and besting Capture One's own clarity slider. Given the $50 price tag of Pixelmator compared to Lightroom's $120 US dollars a year subscription, I suspect the value proposition of Pixelmator 3.3 will be very compelling for a lot of people. However, this is just my impression looking at the images. We're going to explore this question further as I'm going to be doing a video comparing the performance of Pixelmator Pro and Lightroom. So watch out for that. So thanks for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. Let me know what you think of Pixelmator Pro 3.3 Mosaic. I'd love to hear from you. And if you like this content, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share to help keep the videos coming. And till the next video, I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye for now.